What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're bringing you guys a Dialga Trick Room Team for Ranked Regulation G. Now when it comes to Dialga, this Pokemon I actually have not showcased yet in Ranked Battles or even in Scarlet and Violet yet. We actually used its origin form, which was actually really solid in competitive play. And to be honest, I like Dialga here, especially with the team that we're using today. Dialga's Rocket Pressure and the Weakness Policy as an item. Furthermore, it's got Flash Cannon, Dragon Pulse, Trick Room, and Protect. You got two stab moves, you got Trick Room, and you got Protect. It's absolutely amazing. We love this Pokemon so much. Burgraph going to be very viable on this team as well as it can set Trick Room. And furthermore, it has Bulldoze to proc weakness policy on Dialga. Once we do that, Dialga's going to go plus two on special attack. It's going to be pretty much one-shotting Pokemon left and right. Burgraph's got Armor Tail, Rocky Helmet, Trick Room, Hyper Voice, Protect, Bulldoze. Love this Pokemon. Cannot really go wrong with it. Two other Pokemon on today's team features two fake out features. We got Iron Hands and we got Incineroar. Incineroar is going to be great for Intimidates, obviously with that physical attack drop due to the Intimidate. And we also have Parting Shot. Cannot go wrong with that. So fake outs, attack drops, what more can you want from Incineroar? Iron Hands over here rocking a pretty normal move set with Drain Punch, Wild Charge, Heavy Slam, and Fake Out. Pretty bulky Pokemon and a great Pokemon in the Trick Room at the same time. Our two final Pokemon on today's team going to feature Wellspring Ogre Pond. Don't even have to say anything about that Pokemon. And Ursaluna. Ursaluna has been a top tier Trick Room Pokemon ever since it's been released into the game with Mind's Eye, Throat Sprite, Blood Moon, Earth Power, Hyper Voice, and Protect alongside with that normal Terra type. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Dialga Trick Room team. We're going up against a Miraidon team in match number one. Now, when it comes to this Miraidon team right here, what stands out to me is all the Quark Drive Pokemon. They got Iron Boulder, they got Iron Valiant, and Iron Hands. Three Pokemon that thrive in the electric terrain. For us, we don't have any terrain control. And furthermore, we have one Pokemon that does rock out in the electric terrain, which is going to be Iron Hands. So I kind of want to bring this Pokemon in here. And to be honest, I might want to lead these two. I might want to try to pop Trick Room and kind of just go from there, right? That wouldn't be bad. I could actually just go Incineroar for a wrap, Intimidate, and then maybe like Parting Shot the next turn. Because we could stop Fake Out, and we can always Parting Shot on our own terms, which is actually pretty good. I would love to just pop Trick Room and then get out Dialga, because for Graph rather on the slower side. And yeah, I actually like that a bit more than going Dialga for Graph, because at that point, they could just target down my Frig Graph. And it's just be a big time problem. So I'm going to go into Incineroar alongside with Frig Graph, bring Dialga in the back end with Ursaluna. We love ourselves in Ursaluna. So that's going to be a squad. Let's get after it. Looking for a win here in match number one. Like I mentioned, we haven't used regular Dialga yet, so I'm actually excited to use this Pokemon. Considering I love its design, I think it's just such a dope legendary. Plus, the legendaries look amazing in this game, design wise. Well, not design wise, I should say texture wise. So, we'll see. But Miradon's gonna fly out here with Iron Hands. They cannot fake me out, I can fake them out, though, which is good. So, I think a solid turn for us is just going to be go Trick Room into a fake out into Miradon. Best bet, right? Definitely our best bet. Definitely our best bet. That's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to parting shot into Mew Rhydon. Actually, no, I'm going to fake out Mew Rhydon. And then furthermore, I am just going to go into a Trick Room here. That's a play all day. So we'll Trick Room up. And we'll see how this one actually turns out. So fake out, fly in here. Doing a little bit of damage to that Mew Rhydon. And let's see what they end up doing. They're just going to go for a Drain Punch into you. Hopefully you're not Cobra Cloak, right? We're really hoping you're not Cobra Cloak. You are going to take some Rocky Helmet damage, which is good. Trick Room is going to fly here. And we are out after. We're getting after. So Trick Room in full effect. Now from here, I can just simply parting shot into me right on. And I could pop Hyper Voice, but I'm just going to protect for Graph. Because I want to keep this Pokemon alive. I want to keep it on the field. Just so I can bulldoze my Dialga next turn. Which could work wonders. So he's going to try to Volt Switch. We actually just protect. Which is actually a solid turn for us. And from here, we're just going to be able to parting shot. Which is gorgeous. Which is lovely. So we get off the parting shot. Um, they might double down into Frigoraph. Do we think that's a possibility? I mean, I hope so, because I'm going right into Dialga. I'm going right into Dialga here. I could bring out Ursaluna, which wouldn't be bad, especially like a ground type Pokemon. But I want to use Dialga. This is a Dialga video, so we're, we're using this Pokemon. We're going to throw out Dialga, and this Pokemon is massive. He's huge. <laughs> Look how big he is compared to like Iron Hands. He ends up going for an Electro Drift and doubling down to Frigoraph. So that's a great turn for us. 
That's a good. T that's a big time protect for us. So now from here, I could just rip into a Dragon Pulse. I could go into Flash Cannon if I want to, but honestly, I'm just gonna try to get rid of Miride on here. I'm just gonna bulldoze. If you wanna go for Drain Punch, I mean, you could go for Drain Punch. You are minus one. We'll take that super effective shot. But they're gonna end up terrasizing. It's definitely gonna be Miride on here, which sucks in the fairy, right? Oh man, I should have read it. 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 I should have read this. I should have read this. So a big time terror pops out from Miride on. Um, Bulldozer's gonna fly here. We are popping weakness policy. So Flash Cannon would be awesome, man. Would have been great. And hopefully he's still just bolt switching out. Probably in his best interest. But we get off this nice, lovely weakness policy boost. Weakness policy boost now here. Let's see what they end up doing here. We do get a speed drop on both of them, but it's fine. It's a big deal. Drain Punch gonna fly here, which we so. Can you double down to my Frick Graph? Just get rid of it. I would love if you just get rid of Frick Graph. So he's gonna take a little bit of Rocky Helmet damage. Dragon Pulse is going to get neutralized, which is a little rough. This thing is minus one. He's just gonna go for an Electro Drift into Frick Graph. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So you take out my Frick Graph. We should have two turns left in Trick Room. Maybe one. Maybe one. Maybe one. I actually gotta check it out. But from here, now we can just go into Ursa Luna, which is great. I can go Flash Cannon into the Miraidon slot. I can go Earth Power into that. Um, into that Iron Hand slot. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. How many turns left in Trick Room? Let me just make sure. I see. It's two. Okay, so we do have two here. Um, yeah, we definitely want to rip a Flash Cannon here. Which is solid, and furthermore, we just want to go into Hyper Voice and Earth Power. I could Terra Normal and go Hyper Voice, but I'm just going to throw an Earth Power into this slot. I think I have to Hyper Voice soon because of, uh... Because of, uh, what's it called? My Throat Spray. I do want to get that popping. So Cork Drive is going to boost Iron Boulder Speed, which is totally fine by us. Drain Punch is going to fly in this slot, which actually does a big chunk of damage. A bit too much damage. A bit too much damage. So Mirror, we're just gonna pop an Earth Power. How much damage is this doing? It's doing a nice chunk. With Throat Spray, we probably could've KO'd. Flash Cannon gonna fly into the Iron Boulder slot, and that is just going to bring this thing down to 1 HP. So we bring him down to 1 HP. Um, I think I'd rather get rid of Iron Hands. I could honestly just like swap here. And I think I do want to swap because I'm going to want to reset Trick Room after this and save my Ursulina. So I'm actually just going to take out the, uh... What do I take out here? Who do I take out? I would love to do a double kill here. To be honest, but I don't have any double hitting moves on Diablo. But who should I take out here? I think we try to get rid of... I think we get rid of the Iron Hands. So I'm going to get rid of the Iron Hands. I am going to go into an Intimidate user, which is going to be good for us. I'm going to save my Ursaluna, because what I want to do next turn is Trick Room's going to end. So I'm going to want to fake out somebody. And on top of that, I'm going to want to uh, set up Trick Room one more time. And I think if we could pull off one more Trick Room, that could be big time for us. That could be big time for us. So Iron Boulder's just going to protect. That's a fine turn by me. I mean, you're probably going to Drain Punch my Incineroar slot. Actually, you end up Drain Punch a Dialga, which is... I mean, that's fine. I could take that. So now that we're sitting here, I think we were pretty much forced to fake out uh, Iron Boulder. I mean, he's minus one, which is great. So I might want to actually fake out whoever's on the left side here. I might bring back out me right on. Quirk Drive's going to wear off. We know that thing is minus one. We just have to be able to soak up a shot from whoever they throw out here. So we're going to throw out Iron Valiant. Now, Iron Valiant, I think we have to fake out this Pokemon. This Pokemon's pretty, pretty strong. And it's not minus one. So, you know what? I'm just going to go into a Trick Room here because Trick Room did end. Correct? Yeah, Trick Room did end. So I want to pop a brand new Trick Room. And I'm just going to fake out the Iron Valiant slot. Yeah, it makes the most sense. I'm cool with that. You might even swap Iron Boulder, which you don't, but still, that's fine. He's going to go for a Sacred Sword. We should soak this. We don't. Did you crit me? Come on now, come on now with the crits, with the crits, we had this game on lockdown. Yo, we had this game on lockdown. We set up a trick room there, we had this game on lockdown. We had this one on lockdown, because once we set up the trick room, we have speed all across the board.
we can flash cannon that um, your Rhydon who's sitting in the back end. Iron Valiant would die out to a flash cannon as well, plus two. And we could just like start spamming Hyper Voices and Blood. Just everything was working out perfectly here. Everything was working out perfectly. But from here, we're going to try to at least win this. Go for a knockoff, or I meant to go for a Flare Blitz there. But he's going to go for a Mighty Cleave, which we survive, which is good. I meant to go for a Flare Blitz there into this Iron Valiant. It's actually, I wish we would have been able to. But Iron Valiant's probably just going to KO Ursulina, right? Yeah. Yep, it's just going to KO Ursulina. We love this game. We love this game. We love this game. And honestly, we probably... Don't we still have Terror Type? Do we still have Terror Type? I meant to go for Fire Blitz there. I think we still have Terror Type. We probably should have just Terrastalized our Dialga there too, but still a crit. Yeah, we did have Terror Type. That one's all me, but still a crit really taking us out. We should have been thriving out here in match number one, but I'm just going to run this one. We lose out to a crit. Let's go hop into a second match. Look to use Dialga a little bit more. To be honest, guys, that last loss hurts. Losing to a critical hit. I know I still had my terror type, but to be honest, if I would have terrored bug, I wasn't really expecting Iron Boulder to go for Sacred Sword. I thought it was going to go for maybe like Mighty Cleave, and if I was uh, Terrasalize into bug, it would have been super effective. So, decides just not to use my terror, but a critical hit from Sacred Sword taking us out. If we got that last turn of Trick Rooms up, it was game over. My Pokemon were finishing this one off. We had that one in the bag, but ended up losing. We are own one, and now we're going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex. Trick Room Team, that is scary. That is definitely scary for us, considering they also have Torkoal, which is a tough little customer as well. So Torkoal, they got Ice Rider Calyrex, they got Frigraph to set the Trick Room as well. But I'm just going to go Frigraph and Dialga here. I think this is a solid lead for us. Stops Fake Outs. We can uh, just get after us with Bulldoze. Start doing some big time damage from there. So that, those Pokemon are going to be my lead. In the back end, I am going to bring Iron Hands, and I'm going to bring Ursa Luna. I think two solid back end Pokemon that thrive out in Trick Room. This just seems like it's going to be a Trick Room battle, so we're just going to have to play off of that and try to get after it. But Torkoal is a scary Pokemon. We're really kind of hoping they're not bringing Torkoal, because that Pokemon is a pain in the neck. It really is. It's just such a strong Pokemon all around. And they're going to end up leading it? Yeah, they end up leading it. So that's fine by me, I guess. I mean, I think I just bulldoze and I just start ripping. That might be in our best interest, to just go after this Torkoal. I think that's in our best interest, just to bulldoze and go after a Torkoal, because Torkoal's probably slower than all of our Pokemon. Right, so let's not set up the Trick Room just yet. Let's just go bulldoze right here, and go straight into a Dragon Pulse into the slot, just to deal some damage onto the Turtle. Gotta deal some damage onto the Turtle, right? He might even protect the Turtle. There is an option of doing that, but I think he just attacks, right? He might Calm Mind boost. He might, I would think he would just attack with the Turtle. But he's gonna end up Terrasalize in turn one. This is most likely Raging Bolt in the Fairy, right? No, it's gonna be Torkoal into what type? Into Fire. So yeah, he's looking to deal some damage. That's why I want to attack this Pokemon. Hopefully he's going for an eruption. But to be honest, it might just be a Heat Wave. Here. It might just be a Heat Wave. He ends up Volt switching out of here, and that actually did a bit too much damage. A bit too much damage. And honestly, we did, we haven't set up the Trick Room yet. We have not set up the Trick Room. Bolt switches out, and that did some damage. You end up going into Ice Rider Calyx, thinking that would pop a Trick Room. I'm not. I'm not popping Trick Room. I think, honestly, your Pokemon are slower than mine. So I'd rather just get after it. The Dragon Pulse is going to fly here. It's going to do it's decent damage, but I want to Bulldoze to pop the weakness policy first, but obviously I need Trick Room to do that. But I'm going to slow down, everybody. I'm going to pop the weakness policy. Hopefully, you're going for an eruption, right? I'd rather you go for an eruption. I'd so rather you go for an eruption than a Heat Wave. Let's see. And if you are going for Heat Wave, I'd rather you miss. You do go for an eruption, that's fine. So we did a nice chunk of damage just saying, how much damage is this really doing? Okay, it's not KO. So it does a little bit of damage. Nothing crazy. And from here, I could just go into a Hyper Voice and hopefully KO the turtle. And then go for a Flash Cannon in this, in this slot. And just try to KO you. And so I'm just protecting the turtle, that's fine. Diago, you should outspeed here, correct? You should, you don't. Glacial Lance, can you soak that up? You do soak that up. Okay, so that's good. That's good for us. So this thing is actually faster than me. It's going to get chilling Nebus, but most likely he dies out here because Diago's just hitting like a truck. So Diago's going to come out here. Bop, see you later. Get on out of here, Ice Rider Calyx. And now I can bring out a Fake Out user and honestly try to set up Trick Room. I could try to. Um... I 
could try to. What is my play here? We still have Terra, which is good. I think we have to go into a fake out user here. Where do we just go into like our saloon here? Maybe just Hyper Voice. Yeah, I'm just going to go into Ursaluna. I'm just going to go into Ursaluna because Ogre Pond is going to come out here. Um, I'm going to normal turn and go for Hyper Voice. Definitely in my best interest. Definitely in my best interest. So we'll go into Hyper Voice here. And honestly, you are slower than Furigraph, but I, th I think Torkoal is slower than all of them. So I'm going to do that. Um, and I'm just going to Dragon Bolts here into Ogre Pond. You want to attack my Diago, you can attack my Diago, but we're Terrasalizing here. As long as Ursaluna is faster than Torkoal, which I believe it is, we should be fine here. We should be fine. Because you're either going to take out my Diago or go for a big time shot into my Ursaluna. And either way, that's kind of tough. I feel like you have to take out Diago. That's why I kind of want to protect. But he ends up going for follow me, which is totally fine. It's totally fine. I got Hyper Voice ready to go. I got Hyper Voice ready to go. Dragon Pulse going to just dump on Ogre Pond. And like I said, as long as Ursa Luna just outspeeds Torkoal, we're fine here. And it does! Beautiful. So that's going to be pretty much game. They have one Pokemon left. We play that one really well, actually. Really well. Because I knew they had slow Pokemon. And I figured, I was just like, once I seen the Torkoal, I was just like, yo, I'm not setting up Trick Room. Because that's exactly what they want us to do. They want the Volt Switch into their, uh, into their, uh, what is that Pokemon called? Into their Ice Rider Calyrex and kind of get after it that way. But I was like, nah, I'm not playing your game. We're just not going to set Trick Room. Our Pokemon should be fine with this. But they throw out their final Pokemon. It is the Raging Bolt like we already know. And from here, I mean, who are you going to attack here? You don't have Terror type and Earth Power is going to be super effective or plus one on special attack. And Dragon Pulse is going to be super effective or plus two on special attack with the Alga. So it's pretty much game. She's going to go for a Snarl. And that does not KO the Alga. That was actually a good play for them. We go for a Snarl and hope that they can pick up the KO into the Alga. But this thing's honestly hit hard, this Raging Bolt. And it's actually soaking a plus one special special attack in Dialga. But we're doubling down here. Earth Power is going to finish off the Rage Bolt. And we're sitting one and one. So let's go hop to our third and final battle. Look for a winning record. Moving on to our third and final match. And we're going up against another Miraidon team. We are one and one in today's video. And look for a winning record. Would love it. But they have Ursula just like us. Same thing with Farigarab. And same thing with Incineroar. So we have three similar Pokemon. Furthermore, they got Rock Ogre Pond. We ride on like we already mentioned. And then last but not least, Wimscott. So from here, um, I kind of want to go into Dialga and Farigarab yet again. I think it's just a solid play because we could pop Trick Room and then go into Bulldoze. That's just a good option for us. But we could also go into Incineroar and Farigarab, which is good for us, right? So I can always parting shot. I can do a good bit here. I could definitely do a good bit, especially if they want to lead a Pokemon such as Miraidon. I think that's in our best interest. So I'm going to go into both of these guys. I'm going to go Dialga. And last but not least, we are going to bring Ursaluna over. Because Ursaluna is just so good up against all these different Pokemon. So I like it. I do like it. But I wonder who they're going to lead. I feel like they have a few different options. They could just go like Wimsicott into Miraidon. That's a great little option. They could go into their fake out user with the Incineroar. They could go into Furgraph of their own as well. I don't know. They could lead Ursaluna too. If they do lead Ursaluna, that's going to be a tough call for me to make to actually want to pop the Trick Room. But I think I'm going to want to pop it regardless, right? I think we're going to want to pop it regardless. So we'll see what they want to do here. And we'll kind of play off of that. So it's going to be Frigoraf and Mirai. Okay, I don't mind it. So I can't fake out, but I can Parting Shot, which is good. Um, um, what do I want to do here? Electro Drift might just KO me. That's a little scary. Electro Drift is a scary little thing. So, out's gonna come. Okay, defense boost on Frigraph. And we're gonna intimidate two special attackers. So, yeah, I wanna pop Trick Room. I'm gonna go for a parting shot. That's in my best interest. Um, so, I'm gonna go Trick Room here. And I'm just gonna go for the parting shot. Let's do it. Let's do it. Frigraph, can you soak up an Electro Drift? That's the real question. I think it can soak up an Electro Drift. I don't think it can soak up a. Electric Terra, Electric Drift. That's what I'm scared of. A few Miradons have been rocking Electric Terra as of recently, and it's just been working so well. And it looks like we're probably going up against this. Unless Frig Graph Strassize, which would be nice. Fairy, please? Hate this game, man. I hate this game. Every time I say something, every time, like, every time I'm hoping something doesn't happen, the exact thing happens. 
and a helping hand. We can say bye bye to Friggies. Unless you're going after Incineroar, which would be nice. No, he's gonna go for Volt Switch. Can you just maybe soak up this? Probably not, right? Yeah, no shot. No shot, right? Yeah, not a chance. Not a chance. You do Volt Switch out, which actually isn't bad because I could bring out another Tricker user. Which would be my Diablo. Which would be my Diablo. That one hurts, though. That one hurts. Alright. So we'll play this one a bit differently. The Rigograph ends up dying. We probably should just hard swap an Ursaluna, which would have been a good call. Keep our Rigograph alive and play this one a bit slower. But he's now just going to go into Incineroar and have Fake Out ready to go. Weak so Parting Shot into Incineroar. He has Fake Out ready to go. Um, what's my play here? I got to go into Dialga. I could go back into Incineroar if I want to. But I can't fake him out. That's my only problem. That's my only problem. I cannot go back into a fake out. I can intimidate again though. Intimidate's not bad. But I'm just gonna go into Ursula in here. And just pop trick him. I'm gonna pop trick him and try to pop throat spray. I think that's in my best interest. I think that's definitely in my best interest. So I'll go for hyper voice. I'll go for trick him here. I think we're fine with this. Let's see, he's just gonna fake out Ursaluna, that's fine. So I'm able to get off Trick Room here. He's gonna go for Terra Blast as well. So maybe he thought I was protecting the Alga. But no, we're just setting up Trick Room. So now I have Trick Room in full effect. Trick Room is in full effect. I think we go for the Hyper Voice here. Send that that way and... Wait, Terrasilize with it? Now we're just gonna rip a Dragon Pulse in this slot. Hyper Voice flies here. They might try to cancel out Trick Room with Frugraph, which makes the most sense. Maybe I should have went into a Terra Blood Moon in the Frugraph, try to get rid of that. That would have been a solid play for us. And he's going to go for a Flare Blitz into Ursaluna. Dude, does so rather well. He does take some recoil damage. Frugraph, what are you doing here? Frugraph's definitely trying to cancel out Trick Room. Frugraph's definitely trying to cancel out Trick Room. And he does. So I'm just going to set up another Trick Room here. And I'm cool with that. I mean, you could take out Ursaluna if that's the case. But I'm just gonna go for an Earth Power here and set up another Trick Room. Actually, I could just protect Ursaluna here. Let's just protect Ursaluna and then pop another Trick Room. Let's just do that. I doubt you read me going for another Trick Room. I doubt that, right? So if I could pull up another Trick Room and then just get rid of Frigograph, that's in my best interest. Knock off flies through here. We block it. Frigograph, tell me you're not going for another Trick Room. You're just not, right? You are for Rigoraf. Knock it off. For Riggies. Knock it off. So from here, we're going to go for another Trick Room. And we're just going to pop a Hyper Voice on top of this because we want to try to KO this Frig Ref. I don't think Incineroar can KO us. We're going for another Trick Room. We have to get this set up if we want to win this match. We have to get this set up. We have to. So I think their best option is to just double down Ursaluna. Yeah. That's what I was that's what I was hoping they would do last turn. That's in, in all honesty, that's what I was hoping they would do last turn. So we get off the trick room. I can now bring out Incineroar, which is good. And we can go from here. God dang it, Frigger. Why couldn't you do that last turn when we protected our Ursulina? That was honestly a good play on their end. Because if we kept our Ursulina, we were sitting in a really good spot. And now it's a little bit tougher for us. That was a tad bit tougher for us. Okay, so from here, they have multiple different options. They could just hard swap their... Uh, they could hard swap into their... Uh, what is it even called? Their Miraidon. I think it's just launching a Dragon Pulse into the Incineroar slot, right? That's my best bet. He's just gonna go for Helping Hand here. He's gonna go for Helping Hand, probably Flare Blitz. I mean, I don't mind that. We're gonna be able to take out for Rigograph here with Knock Off. Incineroar is minus two, which is good. But I don't think this Helping Hand big time shot really gonna do much here. Flare Blitz. How much damage are you really doing here? Okay, about 50. 49 to be exact. Not a big deal. Dragon Pulse is going to fly here. We still have Weakness Policy, which is not popped yet. I'm really, I really want my Weakness Policy to pop, right? So we have Trick Room up. Um, 
rather annoying Pokemon could be Miraidon coming out here. It's going to be Ogre Pond instead. So Ogre Pond comes out here, little rock type Pokemon. Um, we still have Terra, and I'm kind of forced to use my Terra here now. So I'm going to Terrasilize. I am just going to go for a Flare Blitz in this slot. They already used their Terra, and I would think they would just want to most likely like swap out this Incineroar. But if I get rid of Ogre Pond here, that could be really good for us. If I can get rid of this Ogre Pond, that's good news because Incineroar is going to be on the field minus two for the rest of the battle. If we get rid of Ogre Pond and they don't swap here. Hmm. But our opponent played this one good. They played this one really good. We're hoping no spiky shields fly out here. Spiky shield could be tough moves. But we are terrestrializing our Incineroar. Which we honestly didn't have to since we were doubling down into this Pokemon. But it's okay. It's okay. He does end up withdrawing Incineroar. Smart call. Smart call to withdraw the Incineroar. So now I can bring it back out. He can fake out. Mm, man, I hate this game. This game, I don't like. Not one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit. So out comes Terra from us. We're going straight into Dark type. Just so we don't have to deal with uh, if Ogre Pond survives. Or not Dark type, Poison type. Just so we don't have to deal with if Ogre Pond survives. And it hits me with a rock move. That would just be tough. And these spiky shields. Oh, man. No bueno. Not good at all. Not good at all. Spiky shield flying through when we're doubling down. When we're doubling down. So I gotta check out how many turns left are left in Trick Room. Our opponent just played this one really well. Hmm. Let's see. How many turns left in Trick Room? We have two. We have two. So what I honestly want to do here is probably just go Parting Shot and ride on, And just protect Yauga. Because most likely you're attacking my Yauga. Seeing this Pokemon on the field, I think you would just love to attack this Pokemon. I think you would just love to attack this Pokemon. You might honestly hard swap into Incineroar. You might hard swap into Incineroar. Especially since you're seeing us going for Flash Cannons. Yeah, I think our opponents got us here. Especially if they play this one slow. And everything that I just don't want happening has been happening, right? The Electric Terra. The spiky shield on Ogre Pond. Our opponent's just playing a really good game. The Trick Room on the Free Graph. They end up going for a day of Follow Me. Okay, wow. That actually works perfectly. Ruins my whole Parting Shot play. The Parting Shot's going to put this guy minus one, but he's just going to spam Follow Me for the rest of the match. He goes for Electric Drift into Diablo, so that's good news. Um. Alright. One turn left in Trick Room. Uh... I'm just gonna knock off this thing's item. I'm gonna go into a flash can here. Let's see, you might just go for follow me again, let's be honest. But you might go for spike shield, that's kinda why I separate the shots. That would be end up going for follow me. So follow me comes out here from the ogre pond. Looking to just do some damage, probably going into another electro drift. Knock off gonna fly here. Do some nice damage. A flash can is gonna finish you off. So we get rid of the ogre pond. But it's kind of too late, right? This thing's hit me with an Electro Drift. It's most likely KO me. This thing's just hitting way too hard. And we're out of Trick Room turns. And we're out of Trick Room turns, so... Pretty much game. You're going after Incineroar with this. Can you soak this? You're not soaking this. This thing just hits like a truck, man. <laughs> this thing's ridiculous. This thing is ridiculous. But we're going to end up going 1 and 2 for today's video. Probably should have went 2 and 1 if we didn't lose to crit match number 1. But hey, I feel like we showcased this Yaga team rather well. The Trick Room's gone. They're going to throw out Incineroar. They can just fake me out. Another Electro Drift pretty much KOs me. This thing is just ridiculous. Your ride on is just insane. I mean, I could protect this turn. Is there a way I can win this game? No, there's not. I'm just going to run this one. One and two for today's video. Not too bad with the Alga. There you go, guys. A 1-2 losing record with the Alga today. Like I said, definitely could have been a winning record if we didn't get crit by the Iron Boulder in match number one. But hey. Loss is loss. Sometimes we win the RNG. Sometimes we lose the RNG. It happens. It's Pokemon. No big deal. But I still liked using Diago. This was my first time using it in Scarlet and Violet. And I do think it, it definitely does have potential and it could be very good on Rank Ladder. There's just some Pokemon that are just better than it in Trick Room, such as Ice Rider Calyrex. So, like, why use Diago when you can use Ice Rider Calyrex? But still, I do like Diago, especially with the weakness policy. Popping it makes this thing ridiculously strong. But, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one.
Peace out, everybody. Stop.